Biomes, brought to you by Earth, serving life for 450 million years. In fact, if I were to fall from here, I could really hurt myself. Uh -huh. it was... uh, uh, ah! Damn! damn. <sighs> I'm alright. Prevailing westerly winds bring plenty of moisture from the Pacific. Thank you. These moist winds help keep the climate moderate. An ocean influence moderates the climate to create a long growing season. Here along the coast, coniferous trees grow quickly and to great heights. Huge trees! The forest floor is mossy. Shade-loving ferns and shrubs flourish, creating a temperate rainforest. This cool climate and abundance of moisture is shown on the climate graph. We call this the latitude of science. Do you get it? Yeah. Because latitude. It's latitude. It's latitude, and it's on a ladder. Yeah, I think Do you get it? that too. It's latitude, and ladders. Yeah. It's latitude. It's like latitude and ladders. <coughs> it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. It's latitude. Yeah. Tim, <laughs> latitude are you okay? and ladders. Tim. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We've got our northern hemisphere, our equator, and our southern hemisphere down there. Now, if we were to locate our three different biomes on the latitude of science, <laughs> we would find tundra up here, temperate rainforest up right here, and we'd find our grasslands almost by the equator, but not quite, but right here, right here. Now, for a majority of the year, the sun is shining directly on the equator. Where's my, where's my son? Where's yeah, oh. here it is, Tim. Yeah, here, come on, get, Tim, come on, catch it. I think. Oh. <laughs> now, with the grasslands being in such close proximity to the equator, this causes it to be greatly affected by dry prevailing winds. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now, when recorded on the climate graph, it shows annual precipitation increase for six months of the year. And the dry prevailing winds are cause of the drought for the rest of the year. The climate graph. Tropical grasslands. A lot of heat. Gets very hot. Gets really hot. Mm -hmm. It's really hot. Yeah. Really hot. Uh, Tim, I think we get All it. All the time. Like really hot, you know, like you're sweating. This is where the tropical grasslands. Tropical grasslands. Thank you. Oh, Tim, don't tell me. Tim. Tropical grasslands! Grasslands! Grass in the grasslands can be 10 feet tall! 10 feet tall! 10 feet tall! That's double of this! Double of this! That's this! Way up here. All right? You got it? Uh -huh. You got it? <laughs> Stop it. Uh, Stop it. Stop Tim. It. Stop. Tim, are you okay? <laughs> this grass is fed by six months of rain. Mm -hmm. Now these six months of rain make the ground really wet. Wet! Six months of rain. That's a lot of water. Is that all you got? Is that all you guys got? <laughs> Wet! Oh! Followed by six months of drought. Gotcha. Uh, ah, it's really hot. It's 
really hot out here. It's so hot. Oh, tropical grasslands. Now, these grasslands consist of a variety of animals. The elephant, the zebra, and my favorite, the lion. Oh, uh, Tim, what was that? No, don't worry about it. Are you, are you sure? No, it's fine. Trust me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tim? Tim? Now these large plains are very susceptible to fires. So if there's any sort of ignition, it spreads for vast areas. Uh, Tim, and you're fires smoking. are very hot. Now it's Tim, you're smoking. Sorry? You're smoking. No, no, smoking is bad for you. No, look. What? Ow! Ah! 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 Land. Now the tundra is a polar biome. It has long winters and short summers. Now because of the arctic high pressures, it has a dry climate. This cold dry climate causes a layer of permafrost. This environment, this environment can't support the growth of trees. Only low-lying plants such as lichens and mosses. Now consider the following. As a vast biome covered in frozen water, You'd think there would be an abundance of precipitation. But the high pressure atmosphere cannot support the formation of clouds. And therefore, minimal or no rain. And that's all for consider the following. Did you know that in the tundra there is a layer of permafrost and when the snow melts, it cannot percolate through the ground, which forms bogs, ponds, and small lakes to form. Tundra! Ice! Ice! Pretend it's ice! Pretend that this ice, 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 is the permafrost layer under the ground in the tundra. Add one bowl of dirt to your two and a half cups of ice, ice, ice. Notice the shallow root system? Let's put it in the freezer for 10 days and see if it can go through the permafrost. <laughs> Did really well in the freezer, but unfortunately, it did not penetrate through the permafrost. Ooh. Or should I say, ice, 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 ice? Your tie, Tim. What? Your tie. Oh, it... sorry. <laughs> Good. Yep. All right. So we got our soil types here. Mm -hmm. We got tundra. Yep. Temperate rainforest. Okay. And grasslands. Gotcha. Now tundra found in Alaska. <laughs> it's very cold because there is a permafrost layer underneath a very fertile soil. This soil is temperate rainforest. It can be found in Canada. It is extremely fertile soil and supplies abundant of nutrients to large growing trees, such as this maple. There it goes. That was fun. We got a nice little home. Lastly, we've got ourselves here the tropical grasslands. Now, for six months of the year, it's very dry. And then for the other six months, it's extremely wet. So I'm just going to pour water in. And the vegetation that grows on these lands, which are in Africa, by the way, are grass. I've got my grass here. Just put it in there. Nice little grass plant. <laughs> but uh, in the dry season, these plants are very susceptible to fires. Oh, uh, uh, Tim, here's, here's what, are you, what are you doing with that lighter? Tim, as you can see, Tim, don't do that. That's not safe. Burning. 
Tim. Burning. Tim. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, more! More fire! Ah, <laughs> Fire! Latitude and ladders! <laughs> now that ends our segment on biomes. Stay tuned for next week when we learn how to study our butt off.